it's also been so drawn to the the message of the feeding of the 5,000, which would have actually been more like 10 to 15,000 people in the field when Jesus feeds them because women and children weren't counted. It was only the men. And I felt that the Holy Spirit's been reminding me that, that what's fascinating is that the people would have been there all day that they would have been sat there listening to the words of Jesus all day, getting hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. And yet they don't move. They don't move from the field. They don't move from the hillside. They don't wander off because they so want the bread of heaven. They so want the words of eternal life. And they know that they're coming out of the mouth of Jesus. And that that desire that's burning in them is greater than the desire for physical bread. And I've just felt like the Lord was saying to me, Anne, this is the thing. You might see an increase of hunger in the nation. You might see people actually needing physical bread. But I want you to know that the real word, the real manna that they need is words from heaven. They need my living breath and word to them. And if they seek my kingdom first, above everything else, I will feed them. I will feed them with physical bread too. And we see that, don't we? We see that in the Exodus. We see that with Moses. We see the people being fed the manna daily from heaven. And we see it there in the New Testament where Jesus says, you know what, they've been listening a long time. Let's feed them now. And they see the miraculous multiplication of physical bread before their eyes. But they're more hungry for Jesus they're more hungry for the word, the living word of God, because they know that will save them, not just for a day or two, but for the whole of eternity. The question is, are we hungry for Jesus? Are we hungry for the living manna, the living word from heaven? You know, I've heard stories just recently in the Ukraine that they're grateful for the food, but as they're fleeing the Ukraine, they're wanting Bibles. You know, they've had to leave everything behind, but and they're so gutted because they haven't got Bibles. And are we handing people, are we speaking the living word to people? Because that is what will satisfy their souls for all eternity. I don't know about you, I don't want to live in fear of not being able to buy food in the shop because I want to be one that shows and points people to the reality that even if they lose everything, even if we don't have food and bread on the table, if we seek Jesus with everything, he will provide what we need. It sounds crazy, but he gives his children what they need every day. And Lord, we say that we trust you we trust you as the provider of bread from heaven and we love you, Jesus. Let us be those that demonstrate that you are the only bread that satisfies our souls, bread of life.